As key aspects of Missouri's medical marijuana laws get ready to take effect, politicians and physicians alike are doing their due diligence as medical marijuana prepares to come to the city of St. Joseph. One of those is city council member Brian Myers, who said that while marijuana is not something people should or should not be using, making sure the city is prepared to bring in positive businesses that create jobs and revenue is one focus. You get people that are, you know, 18 to 40 that understand that, you know, marijuana, well, it's not a positive thing, you know, if, you know to ingest. It certainly doesn't have all the ill side effects that, uh, you know, their parents and grandparents' generation were told. Election reports from the county clerk's office show that voters here in Buchanan County approved Amendment 2 by a near 2 to 1 margin. That the majority, an overwhelming majority of people in our county wanted medical marijuana to be legalized. And as an elected official, I would be in a, I'd be putting us in a bad position as a city if I did not want to make St. Joseph, Missouri the most medical marijuana friendly city in the state. Myers hopes that revenue from the 4% tax on marijuana will be used to fix a problem that has played communities across the country. Uh, we have uh, a terrible opioid addiction problem in this community, and I would like to see uh, some of the local revenue that's generated off this be used to combat opioid addiction. For Dr. Tim Murphy, he says that while the concept of THC as a medicine can be helpful in some cases, he has serious concerns about marijuana regulation and distribution under a non-FDA approved system, particularly about homegrown marijuana approval for qualifying conditions and the potential of marijuana being diverted to others. Nine qualifying conditions exist, including psychiatric disorders, chronic pain, cancer, glaucoma, and severe migraines. So it could be manufactured in this way, in a pharmaceutical grade where you know exactly what the concentration is and how much you're dispensing. I think it's going to be very hard for these substances to stay in the hands of the people who are supposed to have them. Under the law, qualified patients are allowed to grow up to six plants, their caretakers potentially up to 18. How many buds do they have on them? Don't know. What's the potency of this plant? Have no idea. I mean, it's just all over the board and unregulated. Murphy recognizes that while the potential for diversion still exists with regulated capsules and pills, allowing individuals to grow their own marijuana plants creates a higher risk of diversion compared to the potential that comes with controlled medicines. Regarding marijuana-infused products, Amendment 2 says they must be sold in child-resistant containers that are labeled with dosage amounts, instructions for use, and a length of effectiveness. When asked for comment about whether their physicians would ever approve or deny the usage of medical marijuana, a media relations coordinator for Mosaic Life Care said that its physicians were waiting on a hospital-wide stance from the Missouri Hospital Association before any comments could be made about prescribing medical marijuana. Murphy said that despite Mosaic's statement, a doctor's approval for medical marijuana usage will likely come down to a case-per-case -case basis between a doctor and old. Under the amendment, Missouri's eight congressional districts can have no fewer than 24 dispensaries each. And while local governments are forbidden from banning dispensaries altogether, governments can regulate their location. Similar to how the sale of liquor is prohibited within 100 feet of a school or church here in Missouri, Amendment 2 states that no medical marijuana cultivation testing, dispensary, or manufacturing facility shall be located within 1,000 feet of any school, daycare, or church. You certainly wouldn't want a dispensary next to a daycare, nor would you want a, a methadone clinic you know, next to an elementary school or a bar next to a church. I mean, you know, we need to examine these things very carefully and, and uh, you know, maybe readjust our uh, zoning in such a way that these things wouldn't happen. For News Press Now, I'm Cameron Montemare.